I'm so sorry for this. So you got a friend for me When the road looks rough ahead And you're miles and miles away From your nice warm bed You just remember what your old pal said Boy, you've got a friend of me Yeah, you've got a friend of me if you've got troubles, I've got them too. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. You gotta stick together and can't see it through. Cause you've got a friend of me. Yeah, you got a friend of me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter. Little bit bigger and stronger too Maybe, maybe, but none of them will ever love you the way I do It's me and you Hey there comrades, how y'all doing? Hope y'all enjoyed that little bit of a intro I threw together Kind of try and help to prove the idea that I did actually watch the movies Say hi Buzz Hello Cause that's what that sounds like, right? I told you I watched the movies. Hello, jolly good, all jolly good. Nice to have you here. Okay, now, all right, <laughs> let's get down to it. So, uh, I stay true to my word. I did watch the movies, um, two of them at least. I've watched number one and number two, as you all recommended. Uh, and I also followed up and made good with finding another defective toy. This one I had to buy. I actually think I got a fair deal on. He was raised, uh, listed as four parts in repair. He didn't, it, it said no power. That's all it said. So when something says no power, there could be any number of things wrong aside from power issues. But uh, yeah, let's break them on down and see what his issues are. I believe right off the bat, his... Uh, his wings are supposed to stay in like that, and then you're supposed to hit this button to open them. And, uh, I mean, I don't, I can feel something moving near the back, but the problem I'm having is wings don't go in. They don't stay. So, that's a problem right there. I gotta sort that out. So we already have a mechanical issue, and we also have the issue of, as they said, the screwdriver doesn't fit. Uh, as they said, no power. So, while I start getting this fella apart, let me just thank you all again for your engagement with uh, this little Toy Story series. It certainly was not anything I planned. Um, I I'm glad that I found something that people are connecting with and is bringing some attention to the channel. Uh, I completely understand that some of you are just fans of Toy Story or fans of uh, figure restoration, and that's what's bringing you here. I that's completely fine and awesome, and uh, I'm glad I'm more than glad to have you. And I'm not going to say I'm going to keep going out of my way to repair action figures and toys, but they're on the table, clearly, physically literally on the table uh, for real though I, I'm completely for working on them uh, okay so I can see the the mechanism for the wings on the inside at least seem to be fine you can see those would be the two latches that, when you push in are supposed to be gripping this. <sighs> See, I think the problem with this is going to be where? I think, uh, that's hard to get a good angle. There you go. I think those edges might just be worn down. It's just not gripping. There's a chance maybe this isn't coming out far enough. Yes, yeah, pushing this button brings it in, so it needs to stick out. Hmm. It's going to be hard to troubleshoot that, I think. I don't see anything wrong with the actual wing mechanism. The wing mechanism looks completely fine. 
Ah, yeah, in fact. Okay, so if I have it set like that, it works. Okay. Woo. All right, so they're a little finicky, but I don't think that's going to be too hard of a repair. I think that's pretty much already worked out. I might grease it up a little. Maybe that'll help it slide in to lock. It might also make them fall out easier, but that that's I don't think that's going to be the problem. So we'll put that to the side. I can only tell you what the problem is. Now I'm going to bring you in close for this. Rust. That spring is completely rusted over. And so is that negative side. Cough, the top positive, terminal cough. seems fine. It looks like a battery at some point leaked in here. Uh, there's your no power issue. Simple as that. <sighs> See, is there going to be an easy way to get this out? Or am I going to have to undo this entire thing? Because so I know... Looks like that part, this side's hardwired in. One side's always hardwired, but it looks like this one should lift out fairly easily. But I also have to be careful because it's completely rusted over. So it could break easily. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Be cautious, man thinking. Uh, uh, it might be, if it's just these four screws to get this back out, I, I think that's going to be worth taking the chance of farther issues. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's dive a little deeper. See where all the wires and everything are gonna go. Or heading to, or connected to. I should have brought, I, I knew this was all, <laughs> Default, no power. I knew this was an electrical issue. I should have got my multimeter ready. Ah, food. All right. These screws are a little bit bigger. But uh, I will say, pleasantly surprised with the movies. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I can't say I can't say I'm surprised. I I knew enough of what to expect. I have seen a Pixar movie before. It's not like I've never seen a Pixar film. Uh, it had a, a great mixture of child humor and I don't want to say adult humor, but adult references. I guess you say I, if. If you're someone who grew up with this stuff and you've watched it and gone back and watched it, like you're familiar with what kind of humor I'm talking about. Like there, There's a lot of nods and things a child might giggle at, but they're giggling at it because it's goofy, not because they get it. Uh, the scene, Mr. Potato Head, when he gets his, uh, he puts his face on and arranges it all weird. He's like, hey, look, I'm a Picasso. You know, it's a... Uh, I don't think you got to be old to get that, but like if you're like little if you're like four or five like you, you're not going to know what he's talking about and if you do good on you good on your parents <laughs> but uh yeah, there's a couple good little jokes about it like that and uh <laughs> the, the, the leg the leg hooker machine thing i mean the, there's some interesting interesting designs for some of the toys it was a fun movie it was a fun movie and uh, yeah, I was completely wrong in thinking, uh, originally thinking that Buzz was the bad guy. He's just delusional. Buzz was just a nutcase. But Woody, Woody was a complete D-bag. <laughs> Woody needed to go someplace. He needed to go calm down for a while. He, he needed that date with Bo Peep. <laughs> the movie alluded to a lot of more mature themes. Uh, I guess that's one of the things that make these so good, though. It really can be enjoyed by parents and children alike. And I cannot seem to get that screw out. Let me try a, a small flat head. Maybe that'll grip it. Uh, 
Might have to get my other driver set. Oop, no. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to try a different driver set because this is not working for me. I should have had this guy open <laughs> a good few minutes ago already. I don't, I don't think he's been, oh, like, why would you open them and not clean off the battery contacts? And I really don't want to just, <laughs> I was going to say, I really don't want to just half-ass clean them and uh, not take them out all the way. Like, like the piece of, piece of the spring just popped right off. It's, it's completely rusted through. It needs to come out. It needs to be deep cleaned. Hey. But it's being difficult. Buzz, you're not a real space ranger, my dude. Give it up. Hey, uh, don't. This, this midsection is not attached to all this, is it? I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> this looks painful for Buzz. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, this is starting to cramp my hands, so put the actual handle on this thing. Oh. Oh wow, this is oh man. Okay. Alright, fair play, fair play, I get it. Alright, you need me to undo all of this. I say fair play, but I think that's extremely unnecessary. Uh, it's for the kids, though. It's for the kids. I'm sure it's, uh, it just makes it a lot safer if all of this was one part versus it having so, so many other smaller individual parts. Oop, there goes his arms. All right, so that arm has no electronics. That looks good, that looks good. So I'm like, oh, his, oh no, his crotch came off. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, so that's that mechanism. Yeah, that's as far out as that goes, so. Okay, so there. I found a little tab. Let's take his legs. Got our little tab that's holding the battery terminal in. I wish this was just a tiny bit easier to get to, because I did anticipate some of this issue, and I already had a uh, vinegar bath ready for it. Now the other one is soldered on, and that's not really an issue. I don't really feel like getting into the soldering with this to say, get all those screws out. I, one of my favorite parts about doing a little repair like this is that uh, this is something anyone can do. And I can literally take my solder <laughs> screws everywhere. I can take my solder gun. I can take off this wire, take off that wire, bing bang, bend the tabs up, and then the whole contact on this side will come out. Easy peasy. But say you have a kid, and they want their Buzz doll fixed, and you're not an electrician or an electronics repair person. What are you going to do? So... Let me show you what you're going to do. <laughs> a little bit of uh, white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. We're just going to get in there and, like, luckily this is on a negative terminal. Positive. So it's not the same issue as on the other side where the spring is now messed up. A lot of it is coming right off. Uh, see if I can get you zoomed in any. It's really kind of hard to see in here. There we go. You can see there's still... Ah, I'm inverted. Some rust right in there, so... I'm going to take my pick. And try and scrape some of it away. This spot right here actually isn't the issue. Um, 
this right here, this contact, that's still in really good shape. And that's where the battery is actually going to be resting. But it will help to get this clean. Make sure it doesn't spread. So even if you're not able to get all of it scraped off, getting this uh, vinegar on it will help to deactivate the rust. Rust is actually alive. Uh, think of it as like moss of the land. Well, I guess not of the land. Is it? Rust mostly works under underwater, doesn't it? <laughs> Rust is a combination it, it, effort with uh, oxygen and water. So you do need both parts. Oxygen does play a big role in it. But uh, yeah, without any kind of water or moisture, it also cannot exist. It needs both. But it, in short, it is a living thing. And that's looking pretty good. Good. I'll try and get you in a little bit closer in a moment. That is really pitted. I'm hoping there shouldn't be any kind of continuity issue there. We'll find out. All right. So now I want to also hit this whole thing here with some contact cleaner. Clean the spring on this side. See, this spring is good. It's good to go. It's lively, snapping, popping. Just like, uh, <laughs> just like Buzz's uh, behind was in my opening. I, I hope you guys enjoyed that little opening. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I forced that all on, on all of you. Um, I have a lot of fun working on the camera and doing some little acting bits. And I'm not going to sit here and say I'm really good or I'm an amazing actor or you need to love it, but those little things are what brings me joy on this channel. And it's one of the things that helps to keep me going. So I like to incorporate it. It's just like I'm always going to do gaming content, even if it's my least popular, even if gaming content continues to be my least viewed uh, that's my passion uh, well you know what? that looks kind of cool let me try and get this on camera the gaming is my passion the doing the cheesy videos for gaming is a big part of my passion and love for the hobby and the craft but at the same time Repairs are very important to me because, uh, again, just the idea of conservation, keeping things out of the landfill. Can you actually see? Can you see a little? I need to get a microscope. Uh, Amazonwishlist.com, WW, free stuff for me, please. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, it is my wish list, though. It's something I just use my wish list as like a uh, to buy later kind of thing. So I'm hoping to get my hands on an electronic microscope in the next month so I can bring you guys in real close and personal. This is actually cleaning up pretty well. Don't mind the extra noise as his trash day here in the Nomad household. is probably cooked. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to save that spring. Well, I brought files out for a reason. if you mix contact cleaner with uh, distilled vinegar because we're going to find out. Nah, nothing. <laughs> I'm really kind of hoping for something. 
And I guess my skin feels a little funny. <laughs> That's a me issue though, right? Alright. Ooh! Oh no! I got stuck in the spring. Alright. Let's dry this off. Of the way. Oh, dear Buzz, you are. <laughs> He's in complete shambles. He is a complete mess right now. <laughs> Please tell your children to look away. <laughs> they, don't, they can't see him like this. Oh, dear. Alright, let's see if we can get this back in. Uh, okay, yeah, that went back in easy. Ah. Fold it back on. All right, let's uh, let's see if in this state we get any kind of life. We have sound. We have light. Uh, I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. <laughs> what? Okay, this is getting kind of creepy because he's all disembodied. <laughs> but, um. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! To infinity and beyond! <laughs> Alright, alright, that's. Let's get them put back together before we give little kids nightmares. Uh, this is gonna give me nightmares. This is. This is pretty horrific. Alright, let's let's figure this all out now. Let's uh okay, yep, that goes in, that goes in. Uh this back piece, this arm. Alright, the washer I believe goes on the underside. So I remember there being a little bit of tension on the arm. Uh see I really wish I knew what I was doing, taking them apart, because, there we go, and I guess when that's together, that stuff will, I'm sure something will make sense, <laughs> once, once he's kind of together, things will start to make sense, uh, let's get the other arm again, over in there, oh, uh, no, Buzz, hang in there, Buzz. Oh dear. I shouldn't have watched the movies first. Now I feel bad for them. <laughs> I come under pressure now. Uh, sweet Jeebus. Alright, alright. Uh, that arm doesn't want to stay on. Okay. All right. Alright, so his arms are fine. His mask isn't... He's not quite aligned. He's aligned everywhere, but he's up Oh dear. Let, let me... Let me... Let me mute him for a second while we figure this out. What is not right? Oh. Now what? This is all starting to come together. Is there something? I something is not right with his arms. That's the, the problem. Has to rest in the arms for the most part. Snarp. Snarp. Mm. Don't mind me. Uh. <laughs> That sound wasn't just for the camera, sorry. <laughs> uh, long story short, me and a friend of mine wanted to try and test and see if uh, you can train yourself to say certain things when you sneeze. And uh, you can. And it's a lot harder to untrain yourself than it is to train yourself. Alright, so that needs to lock in like that. So that's fine. Okay, alright, alright, alright. 
I'm getting there. I'm figuring this out. So the mask parts lock in there. His arms. Feel do the plastic parts go on the outside? You know what? They probably do go on the outside to try and cut down on friction. Yeah, yeah, they go on the outside to cut down on the friction. And I think that arm should be pointing out because there's a little space. It looks like. Boom. Boom. All right, yeah. We get some screws in here. I think he's going to be just fine. Uh, screw Jabba. Let's get that together. Yep, there we go. Pop, pop, pop. Before I worry too much about how his helmet's working, let me get one more screw in him. Uh, oh no, look, he's one of Sid's toys now. Smash. I'm only a torso with arms. Ah, 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 ah. Does that happen in number three? Let me know. Let me know if I just predicted a moment in number three. When uh, Buzz Lightyear becomes only a torso and begins smashing things. Ah, smash, 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 smash. <laughs> I'm so sorry if kids are watching this. <laughs> I don't mean to do this to your, your childhood heroes. Alright, yeah, his mask seems to be good. Let me give him a cleaning and then we'll get some more of the screws in. And, uh, you know what, while I do the cleaning, we'll fast forward so you don't have to actually sit here and watch this whole thing. But I will get the footage. I mean, uh, hook to There you go. Now he's looking as good as he did when he came right out of Al's barn. Department store. And we're going to get the rest of the screws back into our little buddy. And again, do a little time lapse on that. And uh, you'll be hearing my sweet, sweet voice again in just a few moments. Everybody, here we are, our friend Buzz Lightyear, 
fixed up, working, cleaned up. There's a few little scuffs. Let me, uh, there you go. Ah. So, um, yeah, we, we have our friend back. His wings are working. And, uh... I am Buzz Lightyear. You're not getting away from us, Bandit. You heard that right. They're not getting away from these two. I come in peace. Even though he comes in peace, they're not getting away. To infinity and beyond. Thank you for watching, everybody. I don't know where I can go next with this series. I don't know if I'll take this anywhere else. Uh, thank you, though. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the outro. Maybe, uh... While I'm looking for other things to fix and repair, I'll keep an eye out for uh, Jesse, or maybe I'll do an FYI um, or a DIY forky. You know, maybe I can help try and teach people how to make a forky. Um, I did find a broken Mr. Potato Head, so there we go. I can I can throw together a broken Mr. Potato Head next. But if you have any suggestions or if there's anything you would like to see or if there's any figures or a figure line that you're a fan of that you'd like to see get a uh, second life, get refreshed, this Buzz Lightyear I was able to get for $10. Um, you guys have been great with giving me the information and the sourcing of where this Woody came from and what line he was from, from the 2022 Woody's Roundup series. Uh, a couple of you caught in the last episode, I said 2002. I did mean 2022. I did listen to you all from the first video. Uh, all of the people who caught that in the second Woody video, I, I'm not blaming you for not watching the first one or reading through all the comments, I guess, more like it. But a uh, good catch, and thank you for correcting me. Because even when I'm trying to fix something a little bit more... Uh, advanced, like if I'm really getting into circuit boards, capacitors, resistors, so on and so forth, like I don't always know the ratings of everything. And like say one of those pieces is like blown out. You might not be able to recover enough of it to get those readings. So when I ask a, when I ask you all questions, I, I, I'm genuine. I, I want to know. I want you to answer them if you have those answers. And I'll definitely get back to you online. And like I was saying, this buzz I got for $10, which is definitely a steal, uh, minus the fact it was broken. But you saw how easy of a fix it can be. It is always a gamble. If you buy something off eBay or online, it's listed as broken, spares, parts. You're, you're getting what you get. Uh, he was in good enough condition, in my opinion, that like even if I couldn't get his electronics working... I didn't care that much. Like, if his electronics didn't work, he'd still be a cool little showpiece. And not only would he still be a cool little showpiece, he'd still be a cool little friend for Woody here. So, it was a win-win for me. But I guess what I'm trying to say, if you find yourself in a situation, holidays are coming up, If I think they, uh, they announced... Toy Story 5, I'm sure they probably gave a time frame. I'm not sure how soon it is. But, uh, yeah, if you got yourself a little one that's a fan and maybe he loves Buzz Lightyear, maybe he lost or broke his figure, maybe that was not savable. Maybe now you can go online and if you get lucky, you can score a really cheap, defective Buzz Lightyear or another Toy Story figure and... Like, now you've seen how easy it can be. That's why I didn't want to break out the soldering iron, because I want to be able to help you. I want to be able to help everybody. If I need to break out bigger tools or harder to use tools, like I will, and I'll try to explain how to use it. I'll give you like what temperature I'm using, uh, possibly what type of tip, if it feels like that it's necessary to use a certain tip. Or if I'm using a hot air station, I'll let you know the airflow that I'm using and the temperature. So again, you can kind of follow along, 
at least with small things like this. Every now and then you might see me endeavor into something a little bit bigger, and I will definitely give a disclaimer in those videos. Uh, with Also, with anything that has like an actual power supply unit and plugs into the wall, do not do anything I do. Uh, ever. Not, not based off of my influence. Do your own research and uh, only work on stuff like that if you're comfortable, because that is dangerous. But uh, that's enough of me ranting and raving. Hopefully I can get this into a fun bite-sized video because I would love for you guys to get to see the ending that I have made up, a short little thing kind of to complement the first opening I just did. And if you like some of that goofy stuff, if you like some of my terrible acting, please feel free to uh, check out some of my video game-oriented stuff. I am doing my absolute best to get some Halloween content out. And uh, hopefully all of this rolls out like within the next week because I'm really running out of time. But thanks for bearing with me, comrades. Stay safe. I love y'all. Have a good night. When somebody loved me, everything was beautiful. Every hour we spent together lives within my heart. When she was sad, I was there to dry her tears. I was there to dry her tears.